Today we're going to be testing out my Bamboo Lab P1P with its different speed setting modes, which are Silent, Standard, Sport, and Ludicrous. We're going to be using the Stress Spider model to see if it can handle it in the faster modes. One thing I am going to do is change my filament setting. Cooling, wrong one, cooling setting to layer time down to four like it is on the X1 and X1 carbon since I do have the auxiliary parts cooling fan installed. I'm going to change that. Slice it up. And let's see how long it says it's going to take right now in standard mode. It says it will take six minutes to level and all that and then 22 minutes for the printing time. So we'll start with standard. Okay, print one complete standard speed with four second layer time. So we have a little, maybe a little fast, a little stringy. All right, for this next one, we're going to sport mode. Sport mode is enabled. We got 124%. And we're going to check to see how long it says now. So now it says 18 minutes. The print is about to start. It says 18 minutes. And I will start a timer just to make sure it's accurate. This is sport mode. Checking in, sport mode. We're about halfway, it says nine minutes remaining. It has started past the spider web on the feet, and here's the other timer, just over nine minutes. Five minutes left of sport mode. Should I give you guys a shot? I don't know what these artifacts are in the base, but everything else seems to be printing pretty good. Four minutes, and here's the other timer. It's almost done. Zero minutes on that timer. We're at 18 minutes, 38 seconds. It's working on the eyelids. Nineteen minutes was off. There you go. Nineteen minutes, fourteen seconds. We're gonna start the ludicrous test. When I do ludicrous mode, I like to turn the temperature up to two hundred and forty for PLA, and then we're gonna hit luda. This is how you do it on the slicer. Just should go to one sixty six, and we're going up to two forty this time. See what happens. Say in thirteen minutes. All right. I also reslice the file. See if I can get rid of those artifacts. But I think they're coming from the lettering on from the inside of the print. I'll check back in a few minutes. Over halfway, it successfully got the web done and starting on the feet and the body. Ludicrous mode. Checking back in, I realized I didn't hit enter when I turned the temperature up to 240. Uh, it doesn't seem to be having a problem with it. I still am not sure why there's artifacts. It's got to be from the lettering or something with the slice file. Everything else looks normal. All right, ludicrous mode is all done. There it is. Put it on the pile. Time to do silent mode. 
So we got it in silent mode, unfortunately, which they should just call slow mode because it is 56 minutes. 56 minutes. That's crazy. I don't know if I'll be able to do it. Wish me luck. Checking in with silent mode. It's actually only been about 12 minutes. So it looks like it might go a little faster than 56. Uh, looking at the artifact issue, you can see something to do with those letters. Once it starts putting those letters in, it somehow shows up throughout the whole base. We'll check back in a little bit. Okay, silent mode is all done. It ended up only taking 42 minutes. All right, let's get it on the table and have a look. Here are the results from our speed test. We have silent, standard, sport, and ludicrous. As timing goes, silent estimated 56 minutes, only took 42. Standard estimated 22 minutes, took 22. Sport estimated 18 minutes, ended up taking 19. And Ludicrous estimated 12 minutes, ended up taking almost 15 minutes. For quality, most of the models turned out very good. The only major error we had were the artifacts in the base, which I'm not sure why those showed up. I have about 200 hours on this machine and have no artifacts like this on any other prints. In fact, I post one or two YouTube shorts a day with my models and have almost perfect prints every time. Not sure why it showed up this time. For the Ludicrous model, the only other slight issue we had were some of the spider webs did not complete all the way. And that may be because I did not input the temperature setting correctly. So it's still printed at 220. I normally print Ludicrous mode at 240, which gets rid of the flow inconsistencies when you're going that fast. So just Remember that if you try Ludicrous and you're getting some weird uh, filament flow, it looks like it might be under extruding almost. Try turning that temp up a couple degrees. Hopefully this test helped out some people so you can understand quality versus time in the four modes on the Bamboo P1P and X1. Have a good day.